Hey guys, welcome back to my Google Drive database. Today we're going to talk about lawn care service agreements, how we keep track of them when we send them out to customers. And this is strictly for residential homeowners uh, service agreements. So here's my folder for mowing I have set up in Google Drive. I did make some sheets, of course. Um, I did upload one of my service agreements in a PDF form so we can refer back to. This is it here. We'll be back. And this is one of our uh, tabs open with Google Sheets that will show us what area we're going to be working on today. So let's get started. Here I have obviously a Google Sheet set up for customers. Uh, this particular cell signifies when I sent the service agreement to the customer, the date. Um, and this one signifies when the customer sent it back to us with their signature. Um, this cell here will signify, did I raise the rate last year? If, I, if it's empty or if it has a zero, then obviously I didn't send or raise their rate. So this will signify their weekly lawn mowing rate right here. Um, and then this here will be a confirmation that I need to put this into a route. Um, according to the area and the day they need their lawn mode. So I'll usually color code that with green signifying go for it. Um, the E and the M stand, stands for emailing or via the mail. So I'll put that in there. And this will help when we you know, are doing billing for QuickBooks or using our QuickBooks. Um, this here will be the prepay amount with sales tax included. Now, all of our mowing is prepaid per month that the customer knows that will have to be paid before any service can be provided for the following month. So we'll do a prorated four weeks for that month just to get going. Um, then obviously we have the fertilizing uh, price. It would be four applications at $56. Um, we'll put in the square footage and that will signify to us how much it's going to cost the customer per application and then this a here stands for aeration at ninety dollars so anyway let's just say that you know we didn't raise the rate last year we need to raise it two dollars we'll put a two in there the new rate will be fifty dollars so what we're gonna do now I already have a calculator set up in each sheet that I have so I'll take that fifty dollars and if you come down here You'll see I have an online type calculator that I set up. You'll have to figure out how to set that up for yourself. But if you notice, four weeks at $50 comes up to $200. Then we add the sales tax at $214.25. We'll come right back up to that customer, and then we will put in $214.25. Now, the fertilizing estimate, it's $56 at four applications. So what we'll do is we'll put in four applications at $56 with the 5% discount if they pay in full for the year. There's the total, there's the sales tax with that, and there's your number. So we'll take that number, these two numbers actually, and bring them over to the service agreement. So we know that weekly lawn mowing is $50. We will put that in right here. And then we know with sales tax, it's $214.25. We would put that in here. Now, core aeration, we do give a 10% discount. So we would put $90 in there. And then at four applications for you know fertilizing, it was $56. And I'll have to go back to look at the price. Um, 227.96 so we would put that right here and this service agreement is pretty much taken care of and of course their name the city they're in and the date that you're sending it so right off the bat you know we have a few things going for us we have you know a new rate which we have bumped up uh, how we you know sent that to the customer via mail how much the mowing prepay is going to be and how much fertilizing and aerating is going to be. So we put all that in there and now the customer has an option, you know, you know, 
Do they want weekly lawn mowing? If they do, they would mark an X there. I mean, if it's a customer you had from last year, you just go ahead and automatically put an X in there. But see these other services? They can actually, you know, put an X in that box signifying they want that service. So if that happens, then that's good. You just made an upsell with a current customer. Now, once they send the service agreement back with a check or online payment or a credit card, I have this set up right here where it helps me keep track of it when, you know, if I haven't seen a customer's uh, service agreement signed back yet, I'll have this here, you know, to signify how did I get a hold of this customer? Did I email? Did I text them? Did I call them? I'll just put in, you know, like an E or a C for calling, um, something like that, or a T for text. But more importantly, when they do make a payment, I need to put this in here for myself to remind me. I don't need to call them to remind them to send their service agreement. Well, I hope that helped out. I know this is, could be a lengthy video, but I figured I'd throw this in here uh, to hopefully maybe help you out with your lawn care business and setting up your service agreements. So if you had any questions, just leave them in the comments and hope to talk to you soon.